Okay, let's just ignore the fact that I've been gone a while and carry on because it's award season, guys! <laughs> We are kicking it off with the British Independent Film Awards. I think these awards are fun. You know, I love independent film. I love cinema. These kind of awards just inherently take cinema and film and have it at the forefront. And instead of like the sexism and racism and the industry not getting with the times of today, we're gonna start off with something that, you know, is actually fun and fair. Also, I forgot to record me reacting to the nominees, but we're gonna forget about that part. <clears throat> yeah, because I watched a lot of British independent films this year, and they're all very good. For context, here is my top 20 of 2020. We're kicking it off with a bang. Here are my Biffa live reactions. Neve Algar for Calm With Horses. She was really good. Kosar Ali. Kosar Ali was really good. <clears throat> Bucky Backray for Rocks. He was really good too. Frankie Box. Frankie Box. Really good. Really good the nominees. Kosar Ali for Rocks. Understandable. Understandable. Not upset right, about that. Thank you. Thank you so much. See, this is going to be a fun night. By Best International. Jones. It's got to go to Nomadland, right? Baby International. Teeth. Baby Teeth. I haven't seen that yet. But I will and I want to. The Miserable I haven't seen yet. Ellie, I will. Always. Never rarely, sometimes always I have. It might go to that. Is... Now, of course it was going to Nomadland. Raindance Discovery Award. Perfect 10 was really good. I've seen one one man in his shoes. I've seen that's really good. Perfect per ten. Perfect ten. I've seen that. It's really good. It's amazing. Hope it goes to perfect ten though. I think they might have leaked the result accidentally. Perfect ten wins. That is wow. Okay. Now we're rolling. That is really good. That is, re I didn't expect that, but that was really good. Congrats to Eva Riley and the crew. That's a, that's a good, that's a good win. That's a good result. Perfect 10 getting something from this award season. That's great. This is going to be a good one. Host. Host was good. Calm with Horses was really good too. Oliver Kassman. St. Maud was really good. I think I've seen a video of Oliver Kassman as well. That was really good. His house was really good again. I don't mind who wins this, I'll be honest. I haven't seen Limbo. I will though, but congrats. Debut screenwriter. I'm looking forward to this one. There's Rose Glass. Um, there's Remy Weeks. Um, there's Riz Ahmed as well. I'm looking forward to it. It's probably going to go to Rose Glass, let's be honest. But still cheering on. I don't really mind who wins this. Riz Ahmed from Mogul Mowgli. Riz Ahmed. Love Mogul Mowgli. Again, I love St. Maud. Rose Glass. I love Rocks as well. Teresa Icoco and Claire Wilson. I love Calm With Horses. Joe Murtag, Remy, Remy Weeks as well, his house, obviously. Riz Ahmed. Riz Ahmed. Okay, okay. You know what? I'll, that's that's a result. That's a result I'll take. I loved Mogul Mowgli. That's that's a really good result. I love Mogul Mowgli, and I'm glad it's getting some recognition. Well done to Riz Ahmed. Debut director might go to Rose Glass this time, but Remy Weeks is in there. Um, Eva Riley is there, I think. Nick Rowland is probably there. Calm with 
horses. Rose Glass, St. Maud. He's probably going to win it. I wouldn't be surprised. Eva Riley, really good. Obviously, Nick Rowland. Karma of Horses was really good. Remy Weeks was really good. It's probably going to go to Rose Glass. But I'd love it to go to Eva Riley. Rose Glass, St. Maud. Amazing. Result. That's the result. Loved, love St. Maud. She deserves it. That was really good. Well said. Well said. Congratulations. St. Maud, uh, favourite film of last year. It was incredible. He well deserved. Seen loads of interviews with Rose Glass. It's, it's a joy. It's incredible. It was an incredible film. Love it. Best document. I haven't seen that many documentaries last year. Oh. I was really bad with it. I haven't seen any of these. The reason I jump. The reason I jump wins. I mean, that's even more reason to watch it. Not only has my film score produced the reason I jump, it's won a biffa, so I have to watch it now. And genuinely can't wait to watch it. More awards, okay, which was craft category. This is a craft category. Um, best editing, Yoga Slant for Moss, and Design, Jacqueline Abrams. Misbehaviour, Jill Sweeney. That was an alright film. Mogul Mowgli won Best Music. Well, of course it would. Of course it would. <laughs> oh my god, the music was great in that. Best casting was Rocks, which... Yes, definitely, yeah. I like that. Best Cinematography, St. Maud, Ben Fordsman. Yes, deserved, deserved. Harris Dickinson. I didn't see Harris Dickinson. I didn't see Country Lines. Barry Keown. Barry Keown was really good in Calm with Horses. Ali Khan. Ali Khan was really good in Mogul Mowgli. Merab Ninidze for The Courier. D'Angelo Ose Kasiadu. He was. D'Angelo was really good in Rocks. See? And the winner is D'Angelo Ose Kasiadu. Rocks. Congrats! I don't remember the actress in St. Maud, but she was really good. Neve Algo was really good. Come with horses. Koza Ali. She already got an award to, tonight, but she deserves this as well. Jennifer Ely was really good in St. Maud. That was the actress I was thinking of. Winner is Kosa Ali for. Kosa Ali wins again! She wins two awards! That is so deserved. I'll be honest, that was really good. Really deserved. That is really well deserved. Obviously the panel really loved Rocks and really loved her performance. Best British short. Filipiniana. I haven't seen, but I will see. The Forgotten Sea. Haven't seen it, but I will see it. The Long Goodbye, we've already been talking about that. It's really good. I think it should win. Or, or I have seen Mandem actually. I've seen two of the nominees at least. Mandem was really good too. But I still think Long Goodbye should win. But Mandem's really good as well. And I will watch the other shorts and in time. The winner is The Long Goodbye! Of course it is. Of course it is. The Long Goodbye was incredible. Best screenplay. Okay, so debut screenplay went to Riz Ahmed. So, Riz Ahmed's in the running, I would say, for best screenplay. Mogul Mowgli is really good screenplay as well, so... Rose Glass might win it. Would be my pick. But Rocks is a pretty good screenplay as well. Mogul Mowgli. Basim Tariq, Riz Ahmed, he's in the front running because he won debut screenplay. Remy Weeks, his house was really good too. I haven't seen The Father yet, so I don't know. Could not tell you about that, but I could tell you about four of them. And the winner is Florian Zeller and Christopher Hampton for The Father. Congratulations. Haven't seen The Father, so I cannot speak on this. But you know, it didn't go to Rose Glass, it didn't go to... 
um, Bazem Tariq or Riz Ahmed. I don't really mind. I'm, I mean, I can't be mad or anything because I haven't seen The Father. It could be really good. But, you know, Rose Glass, St. Maud, you know, come on. Listen, this is supposed to be a fun night and there are no really, there are no, there are no losers here. The Father's probably really good and plus it's independent. So we gotta support it. it. Yeah, congrats, win. guys. It was wonderful. Bookie back Ray or rocks. Bookie back Ray was really good in rocks. Morphid Clark. Morphid Clark was really good in Saint Maud. Incredible in Saint Maud. Wumi Masaku. Wumi Masaku was really good in his house as well. I would give it to Morphid Clark, but I don't know where it's gonna go. Wumi Masaku. Wumi Masaku, actually, you know what? I'll take it. He's a, she was great. I'll take it. I'll take it. That is. Yes, Queen. Yes. I will take it. That is really good. I will take that. I will take that so badly. When we Masaku was really good in his house. So, yeah. And I love his house as well. So, I will take it. Good celebration tonight. No racism, no sexism, so, no hot takes, no Please stupidity from um, from the Academy or whatever. Yes. Just pure fun, independent yes, films. Of course, it's the Actor. I'm trying to think. Riz Ahmed in Mogul Mowgli. I'd give it to Riz Ahmed. Shofe Dizaru was really good in his house. Antony Haven't seen The Father. The father. Cosmo Jarvis. Cosmo Jarvis is really good in Calm With Horses. I'd give it to Riz Ahmed. It's probably going to go to Riz Ahmed, right? Come on. Anthony Hopkins, the father. Congratulations. Well, obviously, uh, it's Anthony Hopkins. Come on. Uh, thank you, I haven't seen the father, so I don't know. He probably was really good, to be fair. He'll probably get an Oscar nomination and a BAFTA nomination as well. So, yeah, okay, fine. Congrats, Anthony. Oh, thank you. This Love you, man. The... Let's go. Hi, Best director. Thank you so much for asking me to present um, I would say Rose Glass is in the running because she won the award one. earlier. I have such but who knows? Respect. Who knows? Best director. Sarah, Sarah Gavron. Gavron. Definitely. For rocks. Rose, Rose Glass. Glass for St. Maud. She has to win it. Come on. Nick, Nick Rowland. Calm, calm with horses. horses. Actually, this is a pretty tough group. Remy I would Weeks Remy house. Weeks his house. I'd be okay with anyone winning it. Florian Zeller for the father. Anyone except Florian Zeller, just because I haven't seen the father yet. It'll probably go to the, winner is the father. Remy Weeks his house. Remy Weeks. Oh my God. G G. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to. G G. That. Wow. Okay. Okay. I will take it. Remy Wakes was great. His house was incredible. So yeah, I'll take it. Remy Wakes. Well done. Congrats, man. You deserve it. Congrats. They got Zendaya in this. Oh wow. Oh wow. That was great. I really want Saint Maud to win, but honestly, I don't mind. I haven't seen The Father, so I don't know about it, but anything else, I'm pretty cool with. Like, Come With Horses, I'm good with. Come With Horses was really good. The Father, like I've said, I haven't seen it, so I don't know about it. His house was really fucking good, so yeah, sure. I don't mind it. Rocks, again, was really good, so I don't mind. Rocks, St. Maud, my favourite film of 2020. Of course I'd like it to win. But I really don't mind. Like, I'm here to have fun. Rocks. rocks. You know what? Well deserved. It was deserved. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Honestly, I don't even know where to begin. Um, rocks is really good. Rocks is more than just a film, it's a narrative of. You know, the peaks and troughs of sisterhood centering the girls who are oh, on screen. They deserve it, man. It they deserve it. When I see that so many people are able to acknowledge the panel really loved rocks. You can tell. 
Really well deserved. Really well deserved, guys. Really well deserved. GG. 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 Congratulations to everyone. That was a good awards show. Awards went everywhere. I would have liked Perfect 10 to get so accidentally. Perfect 10 wins. That is... Wow. Okay. Oh my god. I would have liked Perfect 10 to get so... You're an idiot. Perfect 10 did get something. Hold on, what am I talking about? Of course they won something. Every film got something at this award show. Every film I loved in 2020 got something at this, this award show. So that's just nice to see because sometimes that doesn't happen, i.e. Oscars, i.e. BAFTAs, because of, you know, systemic racism, sexism, what have you, the industry not moving forward quickly enough. But I love it when I can just watch shows like this and get something from it. I, I just think the Biffers were really good this year. Um, it was a great start. I'm kind of glad I didn't do any predictions. I know I kind of forgot to do them, but to predict a show like this would just feel kind of dirty and disgusting because this is the kind of show where you celebrate film. So yeah, these kinds of award shows, I love them. They're just celebrating film and that's what I love. So to conclude, yeah, all the films that I loved from 2020 and even before that, won something at the Biffers. I'm a, I'm a really happy man. I love the Biffers. I love the Biffers. Where do we go from here? Who killed Hannibal? Pain.